Another important functional requirement for QS provisioning in NGN is signaling. In fact, when we were discussing admission control, uh, signaling actually came under discussion. However, we need to look at it in, in isolation as well. Just like admission control that makes sure that certain types of traffic are entertained by the network and certain services are denied, certain users are, uh, re certain user requests are rejected. Signaling is basically the mechanics or the implementation that helps great deal in admission control. So we say that admission control and signaling go hand in hand. So let's look at uh, the need for signaling and then we'd look at the adoption of protocol and standard by the NGN. So signaling is basically an um, inquiry or a query response mechanism which is needed to implement a certain call session. Signaling is basically the discovery of the resources and sharing of such information with the participating entities. Through signaling, we can determine if there are enough resources available between the uh, calling and called party. For instance, if bandwidth is a concern to admit a certain call, then using signaling, it can be determined if enough bandwidth is available between the two hosts. Signaling is basically a requirement prior to call establishment. However, it is also required to ensure uh, that the call continues at a certain quality of service level. So it means that signaling can go on while a call is, uh, being est is, is established uh, to make sure that certain QS levels are maintained. The signaling standard which has been adopted by NGN is the Session Initiation Protocol. Uh, SIP is a very comprehensive protocol stack that involves multiple uh, protocols which work together to uh, provide signaling support for multimedia traffic. So NGN as in ITUT has adopted SIP because it provides media independence that is regardless of the stream type the SIP shall work and then SIP allows signaling to take any form that is between two parties that is unicast or uh, if multicasting or even broadcasting is required then signaling provides very efficient and uh, uh, highly effective signaling support for such um, conference call kind of uh, environment. The platform that has been adopted for implementing SIP signaling is the IP multimedia subsystem. The obvious reason for adopting this is it is a highly distributed and decentralized architecture. So using this decentralization, the functional elements and the implementation complexity can be distributed across the network. 